Welcome to the What is a Short Sale Guide by whatisashortsale.org. Today we're going to explain the short sale process in depth so that you thoroughly understand how the process works. Some of the things that you'll learn in our guide are how to prepare for a short sale, what the HAFA short sale incentive is, who's eligible for HAFA, how to apply for the government short sale, what documents the bank will typically require, who could help you submit the documents to the bank for free, what to expect from your bank or servicer from listing to approval, and tips to shorten the time frames of a short sale. When preparing for a short sale, the most important thing is to understand how the short sale actually works. So in a short sale, the mortgage servicer actually allows the homeowner to sell the property for less than what is owed on the mortgage. A short sale could provide mutual benefits to both the homeowner and the bank because it helps both parties avoid foreclosure. When you're beginning the short sale process, you'll receive our short sale package, which contains a checklist of items that are typically required by your bank for the short sale approval. Now, throughout the process, the bank will ask you to update certain documents, such as your bank statements and your pay stubs, as they always need the most up-to-date copies available. One of the most important tips to keep in mind throughout the process is to be as proactive as possible. One of the most common issues that are faced with short sales is that the lender may actually close out the file if a document is not handed in by the deadline they give. It's hard enough to actually obtain a short sale approval. So the last thing you want to do is to have to start over because you didn't send something in on time. When you're proactive, it saves you time and simplifies the process. What is a HAFA short sale? HAFA stands for Home Affordability Foreclosure Alternative, and it's a program introduced by the government to help homeowners avoid the negative effects of foreclosure. It enables homeowners to transition to more affordable housing while being released from their mortgage debt. There are a number of great benefits to qualifying for the HAFA short sale, including you as the homeowner receiving up to $10,000 in relocation assistance at closing. And more importantly, it releases you as the homeowner from future liability to that mortgage. That means no deficiency judgments, no cash contributions, and no promissory notes. In addition to that, it also provides a cash incentive to any second lien holder that you may have to help settle that debt as well. Now, the HAFA program does expire at the end of 2015 as of now, so it's important to apply to this soon if you're looking to take advantage of this incentive. The normal eligibility requirements for HAFA is that the mortgage must have originated prior to January 1st of 2009. You must be delinquent on it or default is foreseeable in the near future on your mortgage. The current unpaid principal balance is under $729,750 and the property cannot be owned or secured by a business entity. When applying for HAFA, the first step is to contact your bank to confirm your eligibility. This requires you to call your bank and speak to the short sale department, not just the customer service department. Now, anyone that has tried this knows that it can be a frustrating process, but we offer help with this process. We have a free service where we call with you to find out your eligibility. Now, a lot of people may not think that they're eligible, but your service or bank may have an in-house program to help you, and we could help you find that out as well. Now, when you're beginning the process, the next step is to figure out who's actually going to assist you with your short sale. Now, besides truly free organizations like whatisashortsale.org, there are two types of licensed individuals that could help you get this process going. The first is a licensed title agent, and the second is a licensed real estate agent or broker. Now, it's very important that these two licensed individuals do not ask you for any upfront money because your bank will allow for their costs to be paid at closing. Even more important than that, you want to make sure that these individuals have actual short sale experience. A short sale is a very niche part of these industries, and it's important that you have the right industry professional to have the experience to effectively help you. Now, the real key to getting a short sale approved successfully is to understand the series of events that must occur during the process. Now, the first thing that happens is you obtain the requirements from your bank. Once you have your requirements, you submit your financial documents to the bank all together at once. Once they're submitted, we suggest following up with them in about 48 hours just to make sure they received everything. And once they do, they'll assign a processor to your file. Once the processor is assigned, the processor orders a valuation on the property so that they understand the market value. Once that's done, they'll then assign it to a negotiator. At this point, once you have an offer from a buyer, you'll submit that offer to the negotiator. 
They'll review it and compare it to the valuation report. At this point, you'll either get an, an approval or you'll get a counteroffer. If the buyer accepts the counteroffer, you'll prepare an addendum to the contract, have it signed by all parties, and a newly updated closing statement will be sent to the bank. Once this is done, the file gets sent off for final approval. This could take anywhere from one to four weeks to receive a response on it. At that point, you'll have the opportunity to choose whether you accept the terms of the short sale once they respond. Assuming you accept, your file will be prepared for closing at the title company. To get started with your short sale application, download our free Get Started Short Sale Package. In this package, you'll receive the checklist of items that's typically required by your lender, and you'll receive our short sale tips which will help you get through the process effectively. Now if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We're always willing to help for free. You could call us at 888-262-6933. We appreciate your interest in our short sale guide here at whatisashortsale.org and we look forward to assisting you.